The floors in this project had different thicknesses of finished materials on the beginning floor, the ending floor, and the stair treads themselves. All the stairs had to be figured from finished floor elevations. I thought it would be valuable to figure and draw a straight set of stairs in real time to illustrate how fast and accurately they can be done in AutoCAD LT. The total time was about 5 minutes and 20 seconds, so let's get started. We draw a vertical line from finished floor to finished floor and then we move it horizontally. Using the divide command, which is faster from the keyboard, I request the line be divided into 18 increments, the number of risers. I move the line off the tick marks and draw a riser between two of the ticks. I know from the architectural drawing, which I copied into my drawing, the tread needs to be 10 and a half inches. I draw that and move the two lines and then offset them away from the first lines with the thickness of my riser material and my tread material, in this case an inch and an eighth in both conditions. I extend the tread lines so that I have a nosing, close the objects, and then I group them. Then by clicking on one of the lines, all the rest are included, and I can copy them five more times. Then I can copy those six two more times, and I have 18 riser and tread assemblies which I group. Then I move them to the finished floor to finish floor drawing previously copied. I move the set of stairs down three quarters of an inch which is the thickness of the material required on the treads. and then I check to see if everything is actually correct. Offsetting the tread line three quarters of an inch to illustrate finished floor height and then measuring to finished floor at the lower end. Copy that line up so that I can take a look at the upper finish floor to finish floor. Extend that finish floor line out to more easily measure. Seven point six eight zero six, which was the same as the one on the bottom. And in between seven point six eight zero six. Now I draw a line from the corner of the first riser to the corner of the last riser and offset that line, the width of the material used to make the horse. Then I measure angular measurement beginning at the first corner to all of the subsequent corners, thus providing an accurate way to construct the stairs or the template for the stairs.
lot faster and a lot more accurate than doing it by hand. 